Hi guys and welcome to the channel and welcome to another video. Uh, quickly before we get started, I just want to say thank you to all the supporters of the channel who have stuck around. Um, I know it's been well over a week since we, we last uploaded them uh, stash videos and and I was kind of hoping, I mean, we put all three of them together. What I could have done is just release one a week or something. But I, I just wanted to, to get them all out rel relatively at the same time. Um, so you guys weren't waiting, waiting to see what was what is in the next part and what have you. But, you know, that, that took a, a, a good amount of hours to, to do and edit and, and upload to, to YouTube and what have you. And... I've just really been catching up on life, to be quite honest. Um, after after me back went out, it's taken so much time to to try and get back into the swing of things and start pulling money back in to to pay the bills. Um, you know, when you're self-employed, it's uh, it, it something like that really does take the wind out of your sails and you you have to work twice as hard to catch up on yourself so i've been concentrating on that and other little bits and pieces but yeah we are getting back to the bench and you know we've done a we're doing a little bit more on the galaxy i'm um, just finding the occasional hours to sit down and um so we will have an update on that soon hopefully um but i just didn't think i had enough to to fill a video today and i'm i'm, I'm on another bit of a time crunch today so i thought i'd just choose something else where we could just get into get into looking at model kits a little bit more for for you guys so uh, again that said um i know i'm not obligated to to keep putting videos out every few days but i do feel a bit bad when it, it goes on for so long and i've i've, I've not uploaded anything because i I know there's a, a lot of loyal um, supporters of the channel and I just, again, want to thank you for that. But that being said, we're just going to move on to the, to the subject in hand. Um, now, most of you will be well aware of the Hasegawa 66 range. They they issue five kits in the range. Um, I think the first issues uh, were 1986. Um I think they released it in '96. Um, the, the range in '96 um, in, a, in a different box art. I don't have any of that range at all. But I think the I think the Cadillac and the '66 Thunderbird were were done as low riders um, with a couple of extra parts from wheels and what have you. But the other three, the the Wildcat, the Impala, and the and the Bonneville, just stayed stock throughout. And then uh, I think they, yeah, I think they reissued that same box out in 2000 and 2019, uh, or 2018. Then in 2019, they bought out the later box out. But the reason why I'm showing these is because, uh, again, a lot of people already know this, and um, but the bodies were just basically, you know, they're all is they're all issued as. 124th scale but it weren't they were all 125th scale and um yeah the bodies I, I think as far as I'm aware um are just repops from old AMT um AMT MPC and Joanne kits uh from the time and I think they were repops using promo bodies as opposed to to the kit forms which we're going to be looking as a, a comparison today and um, see if there's any differences between them and yeah the reason i think the promos is because obviously they're more likely to have survived the tooling to have survived a little bit longer um than the kit forms uh so but what i don't know is is how it came about that hasagawa um got the hands on on the tooling for the bodies and the chrome i mean we're only going to be looking at the bodies and the chrome between the two kits because as we know in the hasagawa kits they were just uh tooled up with some really really basic chassis and interior um detail pretty much generic um throughout the full range i think there might have been a, a couple of differences between um the chassis on a, on a couple of them but i think they were yeah, pretty much all the same as opposed to chassis and interiors and what have you. 
obviously the interior tubs were different to fit the bodies and, and stuff like that. But but yeah, I mean, I, I just don't know if um, if they're because in '86 when when this one came out, um, I guess it would have been AMT Ertel at the time who had the uh, AMT and the MPC tooling. And Seville Enterprises would have had the um, Joanne tooling for the 66 uh, uh, Cadillac. But yeah, that's the part. I don't know how how that, how that it came about um, for Hasegawa getting hold of it, whether it was a deal between um, AMT and MPC or AMT Ertl and, and Seville Enterprises at the time or whether they just went out Got a load of promo. I've got some promo bodies and and just repopped them. But I've had both the MP the the MPC MT Joanne counterparts and the Hasegawa kits for a very long time. Um, some of them are more recent, like the, the Joanne Cadillac. I, I, probably in the last six years, I bought that. Um, but I've never ever pulled the bodies out and compared them. So. It's a this video is really a bit of to to sort of satisfy my own intrigue about it all. Um, see if there's many differences between the bodies, whether it's just a myth or or not. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not just by by looking at them. Um, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll there's five kits in total. We'll try and get them through them as quickly as possible. Um, I mean, this is going to no doubt turn into a 40 minute video. Let, let's not beat around the bush. I just, I am incapable of doing a short video. So, but hopefully it'll do you for a few days until I can get round to it. Another one. So, so yeah, we're just going to be looking at the bodies and the chrome and that's pretty much it. Um, we're not going to go into any unboxings on any of the older kits or have a look do an unboxing on these that that's not going to happen um yeah so we're just concentrating on trying to answer a few questions for for us who's been a, a little bit intrigued about it or you know it's just maybe good information for people who want to buy old kits and and uh you know they just want a cheaper alternative because you know you're looking at a, this is the original i have taken the screws out of this one uh just so we can have a look underneath the body so uh, yeah bumpers might fall off and what have you but yeah to get a original 66 mpc bonneville which was lovely on the box art it was done in a beautiful purple color um yeah to buy one of them as a as a kit base you're looking at a lot of money nowadays, especially in the States. I mean, they just go for a ridiculous amount of money. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you if if it's right for these bodies are the same and what have you, then you can use the 65 uh, Bonneville or Grand Prix chassis under one of these and under one of the Hasegawa kits and make it a more detailed kit. And you can use the custom parts from some of the older Joanne and AMC kits on the on the Hasegawa kits as well. Well that's what I'm hoping anyway because that's what I've had planned for, for many years without actually checking them. Um but yeah this is the original original uh sixty six MPC kit. Um for some reason it's built stock but they put the funny car glass in there. They probably ruined the front glass and then have and made a slightly better job you're just using that one but yeah the funny car option on these ones were, were very basic i think the way it was all built off the top of the chassis original chassis and i think the way they wanted you to tilt the tilt the body up was just to loosen the screws on the back so it flips up like that so a very very rudimentary um version of a funny car but um yeah you can see like where the different brackets are and where you can cut the cut the uh chassis open for the for the mid-mounted um mid-mounted engine and what have you but again we're not gonna we're not gonna get into that we just want to look at the bodies um so i'll just take them to put them to one side and um 
and the only thing which was missing off this was the front bumper, hence why I wanted to find out for hundred percent sure. I mean, I'm, I'm I already know looking at them now that you know that front bumper from the Hasegawa kit is going to go straight onto this MPC one without any issues. But so this is the so this is the Hasegawa body. Um, again molded in hood um that's why again why i think they were uh based off promo bodies i know they could have just molded hoods in off of, of kit one but i do think they were most likely uh repops of promo bodies but just having them side side by side immediately you know you can you can see all the similarities in 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 the trim i mean i know you can Revel will build will manufacture the same kit as, as AMT and and many other many other examples of that. But there's always differences in bodies. There's there's not two manufacturers which would bring out a kit which is as close as this. Um, but you know, there's there's just no difference whatsoever just looking at them obviously the body lines and the scripts are a little bit clearer on these um the hasagawa ones they've always put extended tabs on for the front bumpers but you know you can even see the original mounting mounting points for the for the interior they're still sort of present in the same location um yeah front ends are exactly the same obviously this has got the, the removable hood but we might as well try this for the first time um and this is like say if, if i if i go off on a bit of a tangent it's just because i'm looking at these these for the first time it's been something i've been meaning to do and never got round to it so but yeah, they won't go in fully because we've still got on the MPC kit you had uh, tabs on the back of the of the grill, and they're still in there. So, but that absolutely goes in. You know, it's 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 flushes anything on that side uh, with with the shorter tab. But you can even see on the on the back of the Hasegawa grill. Where the tabs used to be to to mount into to the front of the MPC kit, rear bumpers, um, you know they they are the same to be fair, um, except from the the sixty eight plaque on the on the license plate. And I can pretty much assure you that all the grills. Um, the grills will go in and. You know, they, they, like I say, they put all tabs in here for the for the bumper for the to help the bumpers sitting on the on the Hasegawa kits because they were pretty much you know throw together kits really, and you know kids of any age could slap these together in the eighties. Like so, but all the scripts, uh, you know, like I say, bang on. Um, yeah, like I say, they're a little bit crisper on the on the original tools. But everything's there, like so I'm I think with that, I'm pretty much satisfied that that has a gower body is the MPC body. Um so like I say you can you can either use parts off these to restore on one of these, which I which I will be doing for that one. Oh, or you can find custom parts and add the custom parts of these and and make them fit. I mean, the the Bonneville was me my favourite one. I mean, they do build into a nice kit. I haven't actually put this one together, um, but I've kept it for for many many years. Um, paint's a bit dry and what have you, but it's not one I'd even restore. I think if anything, with that, I'd probably flat and polish the paint, get the paint a bit nicer. But it doesn't really need much else, do not that? But you know they they do build into to beautiful beautiful kits and that's probably because you know that that's simply because of the origins of, of the bodies you know all these early bodies were really nice and 
you know, luckily we're the same, so we're blessed with, a, a, you know, having a few of these available. So I think these retail, you know, between like 30, 30 and 35 dollars or 30 and 35 quid is pretty much the same over here for these. But, um, so yeah, so you've got an option of paying 30, 30 dollars or whatever for one of them or, Three hundred dollars for for one of them, um, and again, it's just, it's a sort after one is the is the bon the MPC Bonneville. Still do it. I mean, I think that was bought in a in a part slot. To be quite honest with you, so. And then I probably sold a great majority of what came with it. So, made a bit of money on them. So things like that, they they do they don't really cost me anything once I've you know been ruthless and kept uh, got rid of some of the other stuff which i would have maybe have kept there uh, but you know that's how i how i fund the hobby really unfortunately you know you can't keep everything can you but you do keep the the ones which the ones which matter the most uh yeah with that 16 minutes in we've looked at one kit um and i think really we'll like to the Wildcat, the 66 Wildcat and the 66 Thunderbird, you know, they've been reissued by AMC Hurtle and um, round two a million times anyway, so we won't spend, we don't have to spend too much time on them. But we'll have a look at the Cadillac. I think I think this was the first one that really piqued my interest about uh, the history of them. And, you know, I remember many years ago, somebody put a post on Facebook saying, is it the... Is it the same same as Joanne? And because I thought they were one twenty four, because I was only like young at the time uh, when I saw that post. Um, I didn't really look into it. After. I can't. I think I was like sure that it wouldn't be the same kit, but you know, years later when you start looking at this stuff and uh, starting to really research. I mean, I, I was always into researching kits from a very early age. I think. I've shown that magazine that piqued me interest in all kits and from the age of 10 since I saw that magazine I started trying to learn the histories of them so, and I'm 42 now, 43 at the end of the year so you know it's uh, it's been a, a, a long time of research and it takes some me longer to, to get round to, to looking at some of this stuff and, and because it's Hazagawa I wasn't I didn't really spend too much time researching, but but yeah, I mean, obviously these are these aren't one twenty fourth, as I said a million times. You know, they're all one twenty fifth. So, and I don't know why. I think even in the in the latest issues, they they issued them labelled as um, as one twenty. So this is a two thousand and nineteen. Yeah, one twenty fourth. They've still got it on there. So still a trying to appeal to that well i think obviously it's a, a japanese or chinese kit whatever whatever they are so 124 is really the the scale for them um for that type of manufacturer really like tamri and what have you so but yeah as we got the killed another two minutes of just babbling on about rubbish but you know so yeah this was the one which initially piqued my interest um and started looking at the other one seeing if uh, it could apply to, to more because again uh, the top one is the, the Hasegawa kit uh, and the bottom one obviously the Choang kit and again there's just it may like I say it might be hard for you guys to see on the I mean I've got a console gauge but I do I was going to use that but you you really don't need to. It's so obvious that these are, are copies from Joanne and M M MPC AMT that you, you, I don't really, I don't even need to use that. So, I mean, lengthwise, absolutely bob on. Um, there's, uh, there's been no sort of slight alterations to the tool in it at all, you know. Like I said, the uh, Cadillac's obviously crisper, but the, the Joanne one's obviously crisper with it being the original tool, but 
yeah you can see the the drop down looks they put for the bumpers on these but i mean even in there you can see see um the injection marks are roughly in the same area um you know for for the original stuff and same kind of locations for the for the mountains obviously you got all these gubbins for the for the hasagawa chassis but but i think this is the original this is the original front bumper um that's the hasagawa bumper and to be quite honest the chrome on the original this is uh, an original 66 uh front bumper and the chrome on that is better than 2019 uh just for the quality uh, i think me and mike spoke about it on a, from another video is um you know there was a period of when joanne really was getting it right and the quality was right up there and a lot of these flat box kits the, the chrome it reminds me of the the salvino's chrome because the way they did the original Joanne ones in, in a set number of years. Because they're so nice, is that I'm so realistic. It's not overly bright, but it's really deep and thick. Anyway, I'm just getting lost in lost in Chrome. But as you can see, you know, they're they they are the same. They're hundred percent the same, them and you know, I could can imagine the, the Hazagawa one will just fit straight onto the to the Joanne uh to the joanne body and that's why these kits are, are it's good to know this about these kits because if you've got an original joanne builder which is obviously always going to be worth a lot more or it might not be after this video but um you know if you need in parts to to restore them you know just just get the the hazagawa kits because you know they're exactly the same pretty much fitment i think on the hazagawa bodies they have a bit more flash between just seems like a little bit more built up in here and you just like you can see there's a bit of a ridge in there uh from when they've been messing around with the tooling and it just takes a tiny bit of sandpaper just to feather them down and get that grill back in there like but you know it's the I'm just trying to find anything to to stipulate that that's not the, the same sort of body, um, which did there isn't. It's just that one's got nicer, cleaner, crisp scripts, and Hasagawa's ones who are always a. a I mean, the, the scripts is the scripts are. Yeah, we're not, probably not going to pick up on them, but. Um. But yeah, I mean, they're 100% in. There's absolutely no difference between them whatsoever. So uh, I think, yeah, that's... Uh, well, I think one last thing we'll quickly do. 23 minutes in. Um, is again, if you're into building customs and you don't want to use a, an old Joanne kit for or an AMT kit to build using your custom parts and for these ones... Um, you know, you can use all your, your rare Joanne custom parts on these and like I say, I just need a little bit of trimming or a little bit of sanding in, inside uh, the, the headlamp pods on, on this one. But yeah, they all, they all pretty much go in there like as they should do and you'll create a really nice colour. I mean, I know these parts aren't to everybody's taste and again, I wouldn't use them on the on original Joanne kit, but I've, this is what I keep the Hazagawa ones for. Um, you know, eventually when I get round to, to doing these and what have you, um, just trying to, it's difficult to do. I just don't want to break the tree off that, that's all. So I don't want to hem it in there like you, you're supposed to on, on here. It's, it's tight in the, it's really tight to get into the, into the Joanne, Joanne body as well, but. Yeah, you could use all custom parts, you know. So, uh, Adam at Sodak, you know, now you've got a, 
another source of building nice customs um, hopefully at not too much expense like so, so we'll just get that one out of the way um, try and keep it everything relatively relatively all together so I don't have to I don't have to mess about too much after with another half an hour of tidying up after this video is done so we'll keep all the Cadillac parts with the Cadillac parts and so on and so forth so to speak um, oh yeah obviously forgot to show the show the box of the original original uh, 66 but we've done an unboxing on this one before um, in case there is a, another few days between the next video you know go out and check out the unboxing on that we have a, a good look at these I think I include the, the convertible in in that video as well so if you if you want to look at the full contents of this one um, which obviously we're comparing with this one or the older version whatever whatever one you might have or you might be available to you so put them on there clear them out of the way hopefully cat don't come in and start wrecking place like but and we'll have a look at impalers um, yeah that's the original 60 uh, original 86 issue uh, the only one which they really pushed the limitations of um, of how you can describe it I mean as we all know they're not 120 20, 24th and we all know that's not a 66 uh, that's a 65 so but I think it's it's put they whatever the deal was or however they came across these bodies um this is obviously the the one they got hold of and they're just trying to work it in with the 66 theme or something so just put that at the back um then we've got the amt and the hasegawa body the hasegawa chrome uh and the AMC Chrome, so uh, and that's just the 2019 issue, and they all come with them them figures in. Um, that's why I started opening these ones because I'm not a big figure painter, so what I'll probably do with all my newer issues, they'll be first ones to get built. I'll probably build the model, put all the figures together in a lot, and just get rid of get rid of a lot of them because um, I think they sell for like. 5 99 each or something something like that but I'll, I'll just end up throwing them in a in a big lot putting them on putting them on auction and see where they go like and eventually when many years have passed and i might have actually done something with them um but yeah i mean this was the the one we hadn't done an unboxing on this one yet and the reason i've, I've not really bothered with this one too much is that the, the, I think there's at least another two videos on boxings on these. Uh, I don't think you really need to see another one. I mean, you, you can do this. is pretty much a, a mint kit, and it comes with all the nice uh, custom parts. Again, while I'm hoping, we'll have a look at this body. And the more I'm going through them, it's, I'm just, I, I already know the answer, as you probably already do, but, you know, they, they're going to be the same likes. Uh, but, yeah, uh, again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be chopping up a, an original 65 uh, issue, you know, a kit that's nearly 60 years old. So I'd be liking to open these bodies at the same again because I'd be using that front end on here. Yeah, I'd rather chop the front end off a, off a, um, off one of these Hasegawa ones uh, rather than ruin a, an original body. And, uh the only thing about these 2019 issues is they put these in to, to pr protect the roofs and in all fairness, you know, I don't think they did it much justice the way they sort of uh, worked that in because now you've got a massive bit of sprue on, on your trims. Uh, and I think the older issues, I don't think they, they suffer with that. Um, you know they didn't have that they didn't have a massive thing in there 
I mean, they've still, they've still got a bit of a nub on there to clean up. Um, but that's sealed, is that like that's battery sealed? So, so I'd, I'd probably look for an old one if you didn't want to deal with that too much. But it's not a massive job. I mean, anybody can figure that out like within a few minutes of uh, using the sand of it. You know, I've, I've never had a. You know, I bought and sold an absolute ton of them in my time. Um, I actually got on a years ago. I thought I had offered a small remaining shipment of them and I had, I must have had 50 of them or something like that just old stock which, which one not used and sold many of them and I think I've got maybe one of each or two of each left now but um but yeah I mean I've, I've never had problems with with crush bodies or anything so which is which maybe nowadays I'm, I'm, we're coming into the Amazon era, aren't we? The Am Amazon mentality where you just... Everything gets thrown in a bag nowadays. The amount of kits I've bought lately and they've just been shipped in in bags is getting pretty ridiculous. But, you know, people who sell sell these things most of the time on eBay, they don't know, don't, don't know what they are. They just see that as a box to ship it in, so... But yeah, that's the that's the Amazon era coming into place now, and unfortunately, yeah, it it it, it doesn't. It's not great when you when you see a, a a kit delivered in a in a in a bag and nothing else because it's it's not going to be in the same condition um, as as it sort of was when you bought it. But it's what it is, and yeah, I just make sure I, I try my best to to pack stuff properly. Um, so people do receive stuff in the same condition as I've got pictures of it, but anyway, another another tangent we didn't need to go on to there, but uh yeah, five minutes later we'll actually have a look at these bodies. Um again I'm just looking for any signs are different, but again, you know, the scripts are a, a dead giveaway. Uh, obviously, the, the plastic on these older kits are a lot nicer. The, the Hazagawa ones always seem plastic on the Hazagawa kits, no matter what what issue, always seemed a little bit flimsy and a bit see through and what have you. But, but yeah, again, I think um, we, do, we don't need to spend too much time on these because I'm not even going to try messing around with that. But. Yeah, that's the rear ends of them. Um, length to length. Uh, nothing in them. I mean, they're just they're, they're 100% the same. And I think that, you know, it's just going to make the, the Buick and the, and the Thunderbird quicker to get through because uh, we've, we've more than answered our own question, really, about, about some of these and... Yeah, I know you can. If you wanted to buy, if you wanted to build a really nice sixty-five, you stock, you would just build the Rebel Monogram one. It's a absolutely beautiful kit, that Rebel Monogram one. But I, I, I still like the old tool in, and like I say, when you got an option to use one of these rather than one of these for for chopping up and messing about with. Bit of a no-brainer, really. So, but yeah, all scripts are in the same place. You know, I've, I've, there's not a great deal of difference in them. Uh, I think on this one they've added a few more bits and pieces to fit to them quirky chassis. But yeah, that's another one we can scratch off. There's, and I, I, I know you can, like I say, you can get. I've probably said it before in video, but you know, you can get. A, two different manufacturers same man doing the same kit like the AMT sixty nine Chevelle won't be anything like the, the Revel monogram um sixty nine Chevelle. And even though they're the same car there will be massive differences in the bodies. Uh there's you never get bodies matching like that to be quite honest with you. So so yeah, like I say, I think we'll have a look at quick look at the chrome on this. Um, I've only pulled out the, the stock stock bumpers from the that's the original sixty five stock bumper and and the uh, 
and the Hasegawa one. And I think that the changes they made to these was so that you can pop headlamps in them rather than rather than just have them molded in headlamps. Uh, these are actually probably a, a, a better front bumper to if I was building this one as stock, I would be really, really half tempted to use the Hasegawa one. Uh, just because you're going to get uh, clear lights on it instead of moulded in lights. But then does that take away from the originality of it? And I think it does. So, yeah, that's that fork gone straight out the window. Because, yeah, if I was building that stock, it would just be with the original stock bumper. But as you can see, you know, part, yeah, they all fit. The, whoop. When I'm not dropping them on, on lino, like, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, they they all fit like uh, like a glove, like you know. You you might have to like say with all of them. It's obviously going to be a little bit of build up in our differences in tools and plastic they're making, or with the modifications, whatever modifications they made. But you know, you will hundred percent be able to use all these parts on on their uh, as our stuff as well, like so, uh, and vice versa. And rear bumpers. I don't think we really need to go into that, do we? But you know, except from the annual stamping on the number plate, you know, there's no difference in them parts whatsoever uh, for the rear bumper. Like I say, the I think most of the Hasegawa stuff, they they just did that with the headlamp, so you could put glass in it, but. Other than that, they pretty much stayed the same, and obviously took the took the emblem, uh, the the annual date range out of there, um, out of the number plates. Uh, yeah, that's another one done. Thirty seven minutes. God, you guys really now to stick around if you're still sticking around. And again, thank you for that. Um, but yeah, these last, the last two, not really as interesting, just because AMT round two, of, and AMT uh, or when they had the tall ins, uh, it's just they've just continuously churned out the the sixty six. I pulled out an original, um, you know, just so we can, because the the scripting will be nicer on the on the originals, like and. They're probably, like say, most likely done a promo, so it's, they'll be closer to the original issues and later repops. But I always loved how they did uh, built the kits on these. I want a massive fan of the box art. Um, you know, compared to the box art on 2019, where they did a much nicer renderings of them. But on these, and I think they still use the pictures on the. Let me just see if I've got. No. No, this um so yeah, I really like the way they built these ones and as you can see, you know, that's a a really pretty kit and I was really I was thinking for for a while was this a sixty five as well, like the like the like the uh six, uh the impala but I think yeah it's a it's a sixty six this one. A few differences in grills and, and bumpers like for sixty five I think but but for some reason, it just looks more like a 65 to me in that in that the way they built that. So, and I would like to build one exactly like that. Um, well, not sure. I mean, the the, the hubcaps on these Hasegawa ones they aren't they aren't offensive, but very close to Cadillac hubcaps, and you know they used them pretty much on all of them. I think the the Thunderbird and the Impala got the uh, spokes wheels, whereas the the Wildcat, the Cadillac, and the and the Bonneville got the more subtle stock looking wheels, which were like say basically a, a little bit like the stock Cadillac hubcaps. But yeah, so like I say, all I've done is quickly pull out the 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 bodies in the chrome as is we have done on the other ones and. So the upper ones, the uh, the the 
gen uh, original AMC kit annual. Bottom one's the Hazagawa, obviously. And again, it, there is just literally no, there's, except from, the, I think the only difference is with the body is obviously the, the bonnets are part of it and they've got a lot of different mounting points underneath and what have you, but. So yeah, I mean, um, with, with the, the Wildcat and the Thunderbird, you'd probably just buy the AMC kit. Um, unless you just wanted a really easy, because you can see on the side of the box, like you, they build into beautiful little kits. So if you just wanted a little slum breaker, you got some paint, uh, quickly paint a body, paint the interior and the, the chassis black or whatever you want to do with it. And then you got a nice, uh, you got a nice kit. Um, so I'm not, I'm not just in the, this in the, uh, Hazagawa one. I wouldn't dismiss it as buying it. I've got a few of them just for the fact that they do look so nice built up. But yeah, the, again, no difference in them um, at all. So uh, grills and bumpers. I think I think this is pretty much an untouched kit. The old original one, except from grills being blackwashed, and I'm pretty sure the engines being put together, but. We'll just quickly take the take the grill out of this one and bumper and what have you. So those are the Hazagawa ones and Yeah, like I said, they've, they've done the same on this where they've just changed up the headlamp sort of assembly so to speak, you know, but And I really must not look at the parts instead of the camera because you're probably looking at a different thing to what I'm talking about. But yeah, we don't we we don't need to spend any more time on that to be quite honest with you. And exactly the same with rear bumpers and that's, Yeah, I think that's uh, popping that in there. Yeah, and that fits in into there like exactly the same as it does on the AMT kit you know obviously that's the Haskawa part with with uh without the without the annual plate on it but but yeah another another one scratched scratched off the list you know and we all know about what you know we like I say probably figured out that they're all the same and a lot of people would have already known all of this anyway um but it's just for the people who don't know, you know, people might appreciate learning these things. And like I say, it's it's more of a case of um, getting cheaper old kits and rarer kits. And you, like I say, using the custom parts on and not wasting old kits using uh, custom parts. So, so yeah, that's the, the Wildcat done. Stack them up. Another one done. Another an another question answered. Um, pop that thing off there. Just slot that in there. I just don't want these pan. And I don't know where Ringo is. I think he had me out for a bit. Um, he's usually right by my side with these videos, but I think he's <laughs> potentially asleep. So I'm just making most of that before he comes trotting in and starts batting all these parts across the across the floor. Um, so yeah, the, the last one, the uh, 6.6 six Thunderbird, I think I've pretty much got everything, I've done, I've, I actually, this is the second time I've, I've shot this video and I was so disawed, I thought, right, I'll do what everybody else does, just pick up the box, start pulling stuff out, and I felt so disorganised doing it, about 25 minutes in, I just... Add a little bit of a swear word and give up on it. Um, so just had a bit of a reset, like, and got myself into my usual organised way of thinking, like. But yeah, obviously, um, the six six Thunderbird again being churned out a million times. You know, this is a 
a nice original is this one. I think I got a few of these. Um, I think this is the mint one. Um, got the one with a, which was missing interior tub, so I just replaced the interior tub with a new one, and I've got a builder in a box. Uh, but these, these are cheap kits, even for an original. To be quite fair, you know, you'd probably be paying the same for for this box as you would retail over here um because people just want buy kits out the, there's not too too many collectors i would say in this country um you know in comparison to the states you know that's why prices are so mental over there like it's absolutely mental um but yeah so we got the hazagawa body which again leads me to believe this was uh, a promo, uh, just because they did promos in the hard tops and the convertibles uh, molded in. Whereas the the kits were always um, a convertible with a hard top version, as this one is. Um, so it'll be like I said, I don't have really any promos of any of these kits. Uh, what I've got is what I've got, and probably what I've shown. Oh, what we've seen in the in the stash collections uh but as that bruce cooperating with us a little bit and then falling off at this very moment you know i think we could probably get a a good look at the the, the two kits together and i don't think we need to go into this one much at all like you know in fact we'll just get rid of them bits because it is pointless looking at the, this one too much like you know it's a, a very very common kit in the amt form anyway so uh, but yeah like i say the other three are, are rarer so uh, but again there, there's absolutely there's no difference in lengths or anything like that you know the 100 percent spot on so uh, just different They've just, I think they've only, like I said, they've only altered at all in where it needs to be to, to make it work with with uh, that slapdash, slapdash chassis they, they threw together and everything for this. But again, if you if you just want a nice kit, then, you know, easy slum break. I mean, I'm not going to take any of these both sealed, well, this one's sealed bag, and I'm, I don't really want to go into extended unbagging that. Because we already know that all the parts will be exactly the same like so uh, um not even enough room to flip it over in there but i can imagine most of the amt chrome will just slot onto the to the hasagawa body uh body as as they usually do i uh, just lost a carburetor there like but yeah they all go together pretty much the same like um yeah, I'm top camera there. With all trees in place, you know, I can't really marry them up. Um, I'd say on all, on all the front ends, there's a little bit more more width in there. And that's for all of them. So, yeah, they've just got a little bit more plastic girth in there. But other than that, they're, they're exactly the same, so... You know, I think with that, you know, 48 minutes, another 50 minute video. Honestly, guys, I, honestly, I thought this may be a 40 minute video, but yeah. So is life. And, you know, if there isn't that much else on telly tonight, then yeah, that'll fill an hour where it's uh But I'll just quickly clear these off the table. Um and get the video video closed off light because yeah we've 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 been going on long enough now haven't we so but yeah if you want that kit if you want a cheap version of of this kit or a cheap version of the old original mpc original mpc kit you know you got the, the bonneville there um so yeah i mean i think i think we have done i think we like i say it was it was mainly it was mainly my own curiosity and 
you know, had I sat down on my own, it probably would have taken exactly the same time, you know, uh, to, well, it maybe probably would have taken as long like, but, you know, we can, we've got a good idea now of where you can get cheaper, nicer stuff and what have you, and if you are particularly into old Cadillacs or old rare kits and you don't have to budget for which they, they demand anymore, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a good place for you to, to go and get them light, so yeah, we'll just shove that on there. Shove that on there. So we just have a a good close off to it. But again, if you have, I've, I've, I really do hope you've, you've found the, the video remotely interesting, uh, despite the way I've put them together light. But, you know, I think... Um, if somebody's learned, if one one or two people have learnt something that they haven't they didn't know before, then you know we haven't done a we haven't done a bad job today. Like so, yeah. With that, I'm I'm just gonna cut it cut it loose now. Um, just putting boxes down and cats appear out of nowhere is ridiculous. Um, yeah, I just wish you all a very a very pleasant weekend whatever you're going to be doing um i'll hopefully get back to to more frequent videos but i did want to i did want to do something for the weekend for you guys uh hopefully hopefully that's no it's been a half decent video for you and we do get to we got another chance to look at a few more old kits didn't we so yeah with that being said once again thank you for all the supporters of the channel and if whichever way you decide to 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 do that whether you're just watching the videos you know that that's that's great to be quite honest you know i'm, I'm at 600 and odd subscribers but me viewing time went over four thousand hours so ebay monetized me the other the other day so that was that was nice i wasn't really expecting that but i think i still have to do one more thing to to actually make it monetized but you know, if that eventually pays for a, a, a can of aerosol a month or something, you know, to, to paint one of bodies or something, you know, that, that'll that be good enough for me because we're never going to be millionaires here, I'm afraid, you know. Um, yeah, if I can get a 10, 15 quid at, at the end of the month, you know, that, that wouldn't be too bad. I'll be happy with that, like, so... So yeah, with that said, another another three minutes has lapsed since I said I'm going. So hey, I'm going to go now, um, crack on with the rest of my day, put all this stuff away, and we will see you in the next video. Okay, see you, bye.